Welcome to Four Wall Studio. I'm Jason Clett. This is my producer, Mr. Howie Beck. Howie's uh, worked on the last two records, Idols of Exile and Here's to Being Here. We're going to talk a little bit about Here's to Being Here and all the magical moments that happened uh, here at this console. Lots of knobs, pretty lights. I think I think we made a good record. Could have been better, but you know, and then you get people from the label involved, and you know what the label people are like, you know. Now people think, you know, arts and crafts, indie rock label, you know. Yes, cool. It's cooler. But there's still a label. And what do they know about music? Like they're pencil pushers and stuff. Good at being indie rock label people, but they're not artists. And artists have to make compromises. Which is not something I feel really great about. So, for example, there's this one tune out of time. We'll just play a little clip of that. We're going to show you what I had to get cut out of that tune to, to sort of meet the label's safe requirements, you know, because, you know, they pigeonholed me as this roots rock artist, and I'm much more than that. Like, I go deep, you know, like, I, I, I can do rap and stuff, you know. In fact, this track here has some awesome rapping on it from my, uh, my bass player, Michael P. Clive. Um, my recollection of making Here's to Being Here uh, was a, a very positive uh, experience. Uh, I remember many late nights working in the middle of nowhere, uh, you know, cold winter, uh, coming up with the nuts and bolts and the real foundation to the songs that you're going to be able to uh, hear now. Uh, standout songs might, might, might have been uh, out of time where I got to not only lay down uh, an earthquake and bass, but I was also able to uh, nurture another side of me, which is in the, the field of rap, uh, specifically Brooklyn, New York subway mixes. And uh, I was given an opportunity to get in there and, and bring what I thought was a new texture, as they say in the business, to this song. Oh yeah. Stomach ache, diarrhea, vomiting, cold feet, runny nose, headache, insomnia, lying, cheating, sucking titties like I had years of breastfeeding. Oh, looks like I got a little juice in my king can. Hey, oh! I get shivers every time. You guys need me to try that in a different key? Excellent. Consummate professional every time. One take. Mm. With these words like a percolator was just coming out of my throat box and uh, I remember thinking that my throat canal never sounded so good as to when I was rapping. Hold on, one more. Hey and I mean, some say that those lyrics were lifted from some sort of Anne Murray lost track or others offer up uh, that it was Red Man. Uh, all I know is that I was singing from the heart. And, uh, and this is a nine volt battery and it goes into a tuner and I, I don't care what anyone says, I'm only half the bass player I am without it. You know, one day maybe, one day we could live in a world where artists can just uh, not be messed with, you know? No compromise, no more compromise. You guys good with that? Hey 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 mm. Mm. You know what? Guess what? My name is Michael P. Clive. I play bass, I like magic, and I part-time underwater well. Oh. Ah. Hold on a second. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm about ready. It's a great studio, you know, like, here you go, you got some 
two monitor screens here. In the last few years, they only have one monitor screen, or not even. So, but this is um, it's pretty top notch. Not your run of the mill studio. Advanced technology. That's your thing here. There's a mouse around somewhere. This is a bass guitar. This I like to dominate. Ha, 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 ha.